welcome to Jade Kind Gaming. This is the 17th session of 18th? 19th. 18th. The 24th session of the... <laughs> <laughs> the 18th session of yeah, the 18th. Shadow Kingdoms 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons campaign. My name is Bob. I am the Dungeon Master for... Uh, <laughs> for... We're already off the rails. This is not a great start. I don't think we're off the rails. We didn't start on the rails. Excellent. So I'm uh, joined by Vic as Mary, Ryan as Mother June, Adam as Dr. Richter, and Nick as Girl Mary. Yeah, man. I picked my own full name. I even gave them a last name. Too many syllables. <laughs> I appreciate too? it. I appreciate it, but I'm not running this game. <laughs> She can also marry with an A. It is with I'm, an A. Because I'm Mary with an E. Yeah. Uh, girl Mary again is still faster. <laughs> and an I. Mine's also with an I. <laughs> so you misspelled it. That's great. <laughs> uh, not germane to this uh, conversation. Well, we could call you Bu- we, we could call you Bunny Bell. Don't bring Jermaine into it. He's got a lot of work to do. Yep, just completely off the rails. <laughs> All right, attack with Cape Crazy Train. Okay, so where are we? We're on the caravan. Where are we? Um, we ended after I counted money and went to bed. Uh, yeah, we 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 counted. Mary uh, is waking up for as well, so us going to bed. At this mm, seems. Yeah. Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Excellent. And I have to go and check on Abbott to see if he's finished his long process of uh, trying to read those books. Okay. And give well, him his pies. Well, we're going to start with uh, Boy Mary. I believe I was getting up. Yep. You're awake now. I believe everyone else is done, and I've been told I don't have any. So I checked to see if there's any information, something being, if there's any notes telling me something to do something tonight. Uh, you look around. There doesn't seem to be anything written down. Then no, I just go back to bed. No, I, I want to keep my schedule. Okay, so where are you doing? Are you just hang, just loitering around. Just staying in your room? Isn't this like a 24-hour establishment? Yes, but you're not... You haven't said, I go downstairs. Oh, yeah, I go downstairs. There we go. Okay. Now, yeah. Ryan, what are you doing? All right. If I think Abbott's about done, I'm going to go ahead and bring him in his pocket pies. All right. You walk into Abbott's... Uh, well, not Abbott's. Into uh, Inkeeper. the innkeeper's office. And Abbott's just over there... Just Working on book. Mm. Uh, and it's like Abbott or you uh, getting close? His hair is like all disheveled from running his hands through it. He's got deep dark circles under his eyes and he's just like Yes. Um original R copy extra copy. So uh, what have you uh, learned from his little black book? Oh, he's really good at... Well, he's terrible at the embezzling, but he's embezzled quite a bit, and no one's really found it yet. Uh, we can um, pull the money out of the account, or you can talk to the guard I think was brought up. Yeah, that, that was uh, something that we wanted to do, was hit him to get him out of his position. So, uh, there's about 10,000 gold here that we could pull, but if we start mucking with the account and then turn into a guard... People who look through it are going to have some questions for us, so make some decisions. I'm going to bed. Well, uh, is it easy enough to read, or could I ask him a couple questions before he goes to bed? Uh, he's like, You're what would you like to know? Uh, is all of the money uh, on his black book uh, stuff that he stole from the union, or is any of it, like, that's Gamble, his, that's, gambling or personal investments or anything? That's his embezzling book. Right. That's not his uh, personal accounts. It's another account that's not... It's linked to him, but not directly linked to him. It's not his personal finances. It's not what they look through for his taxes. It's another account that he has. Okay, so it's purely his skimming book. Which is why we could take money out of it, because it's not actually in his name. It's in another name. So, um, if you're doing the guard thing, find these, uh, his chop would probably, for that book, would be a, a good idea. 
I'm going to bed. Okay. Good night. And ha- have a pies if you're hungry or you want them, save them for tomorrow, I suppose. Thank you. He takes the pies and he just like leaves. Mm. All right, I'll go out to the main room. Well, there's a fairy with a unicorn on her head sitting at the bar. That, that's a very descriptive thing of not Austin. <laughs> unicorn sitting on my head. On her head, specifically. Unicorn head. Uh, oh, right yeah. <laughs> yeah. And a fairy with a unicorn sitting on her head. I'm pretty yeah, sure I said horn. Close enough. No. Close horn. enough. <laughs> I know the unicorn horn mm-hmm. on her head. It's not a unicorn. It's his on head. Her. Yeah, that's not the point. I didn't say a whole <laughs> goddamn unicorn. <laughs> but Listen, I'm... genders get fucked up all the time. That's not that big of a deal. Adding a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Please rewind the tape and let us know in the comments. What did he say? <laughs> no. I asked the questions here. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it's also what. Yeah, Mary, come come upstairs. Uh, we've got. Um, Sure. Some new info. So, after we get upstairs, uh, go ahead and um, show him a copy of uh, the extra book that uh, Abbott got for us. So, we got um, the book from the union boss here, and apparently this account is just the money that he ended up stealing from the union. So... Uh, Abba told me that uh, it seems to have about 10k in the account, but uh, that if we make any withdrawals, it'll end up being suspicious if we end up handing this off to the guard. So, as far as uh, what we want to do with it, turn it into the lady. To the oh, oh, over to Abigail. Whoever the lady is that works for the union. That would be Abigail. Yeah. Or and let her go to Agatha. the authorities with a- it? Agatha. Agatha. I was like, it definitely wasn't Abigail. Mm-hmm. Listen, it's been like yeah. a month. Mm-hmm. And it's like, uh, say, oh, well, what'd you say? I give it to the lady so that she can turn it in? It's like, um, yeah, we, we could, uh, do it that way. I was, um, Alternatively, just rob the guy and, you know, forget Agatha and the dude. Just ignore the union. Uh, I'm, I want to talk to Agatha first and then we'll figure out how we're going to uh, deal with this. I'm just saying, we could probably buy a union for 10,000 gold. Uh, Mm-hmm. Or maybe just spend some of it to hire a guy to kill the union boss and then use the lady? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Man, those are all options. All options. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, I suppose you're free for the night to do as you will. <clears throat> I don't have anything uh, that I'll get to until tomorrow, I think. Yep. I'm going to bed. I'm not. Okay. Do you do any, any shenanigans you get up to, or are you just passing the time? Just passing the time. Okay. Keep it on the low key. Things are happening now. Not the time to lose your cool. All right, so eight hours pass. Go borrowing trouble. I assume you stand critically at the window, Adam. No, no, no. Too, too tired this night. Yeah. Alright, so eight hours pass and you are awake in the morning. Alright. Am I also part of that group awake in the morning? Yeah. Okay. You, you I, slept, right? Yes. But I'm not part of the group yet. So, do you wake up early and, you know, clean up, dress in my. Nice green zoot suit. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I put on my running errands clothes today. Then I go down to the common room and I was told to wait here. 
And we go into the, the meeting room to wait for people. Okay. Yeah. And to see where that, that kid comes... Yeah, we... And I see where that kid comes uh, comes to bring food or what happened. Actually, do I remember? Yeah. Okay, things don't Okay. So yeah, wait for, for that kid to show up. Totally expecting that. You remember the kid's not there. Yeah, nope. Totally expecting he's going to be there. <laughs> Okay, so... Not uh, going about things as if I know he's gone and I'm <laughs> at fault for it. <laughs> uh, so, some time passes, all of your lieutenants have kind of trickled in, and they're just kind of sitting there going, where's the food? Uh, it appears that we have uh, lost Jim. He's not coming back, as far as we're able to tell. He wasn't actually what he appeared to be. Okay. Uh, Sparky? I got it. <clears throat> Spartacus, like, gets up out of his chair and walks out the door. Clop, 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 clop. They're sitting in the common room, and you see a fairly well-dressed mm-hmm. and very clean Minotaur walk up over to the bar and talk quietly to the innkeeper and just kind of sit there for about 15, 20 minutes, and then walk off with a huge tray back upstairs. I'm sitting here waiting for that unicorn guy to come down because he hasn't introduced me to anyone yep. else in his company. Yeah. While they're up there, I'll bring up the paperwork to uh, Jake? Jake is your enforcer. Steve is the... Steve. Lieutenant. I give him the paperwork that she signed. Uh, Steve starts looking through it and goes, Okay, everything seems to be in order. Basically a slave. She even read it. Win. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, he's looking through there at like the clauses you initialed and goes I guess I mean <laughs> <laughs> Go file it, I guess, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you want her up here or I suppose we should probably bring her up. Alright, I'll go and get her. Well, smart guess is getting food. Yeah. So about 10 minutes into the 15 minutes thing it takes to get food, a uh, uh, fairy with a unicorn horn comes downstairs. Well, oh, come on up. Thank you. Get up, brush off the suit, and head on up with him. Make little ears through the hat. <laughs> yeah. But as you enter the room, you see a table with uh, the... Uh, them. And then there's. <laughs> just make hand signs at Molly. <laughs> yeah, and Molly just looks up and just starts giggling and clapping. <laughs> She's the only <coughs> other one dressed nicely, really. Also in a zoot suit of pink with pearl buttons. Yeah. Good, good. I, I didn't overdress. That guy wasn't lying to me. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Dr. Doomstairs just... Excuse me. Mm-hmm. It was a sneeze. <laughs> okay, so that wasn't what Dr. Doomstairs did? <laughs> My no. first thought was you had Dr. Doomstairs be allergic to rabbits. It's not a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> My first thought is you had Dr. Doomstairs be allergic to hair and Because someone could be. <laughs> oh, no, I had to sneeze. Yeah. Well, then bless you. You dusted. <laughs> Shush! <laughs> uh, so. Oh, right. Yeah, you look around the table. Molly's dressed nicely. Dr. Doomsday is sitting there. Looks like, you know, half of his head was where the pillow was, and the rest of it's just Doc Brown floof. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he appears to be in pajamas. I'm getting to know more about Dr. Dupes there. I feel like he's been in pajamas for a bit now. <laughs> he is on vacation. <laughs> Just a tall beer stand and he's like, I'm on vacation, I can drink. <laughs> he's having a cup of tea. Hmm, okay. What's in that cup of tea, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, Spartacus oh, comes up man. about five minutes later and starts handing out food and drink. If it is possible, I'll sit next to Mary. I am not Mary. Uh, 
Molly? Molly. Yeah, yes. it is not. Yeah. Molly has uh, Sparky on one side and Abbott on the other. Well, I guess I'll try to sit next to Mary since he is the one I know. Okay, so the two I'll be Marys. next to Abbott. All right. Hmm. So, A Abbott uh, has done great work in uh, going through the books of the Union boss and found that uh, he's small gold or embezzled about uh, 10,000 gold uh, worth of uh, their funding into his own personal account that does and not even in his own name that's somehow separated from him. Anyway, the situation that I think that we have to do is make the decision on what we want to uh, plan to do. Uh, I'll go ahead and say that uh, my initial idea would be that I want to go and talk with Agatha and figure out a way that um, we'll be able to hand this off to the uh, enforcement, the uh, Luxodon uh, Priest of Tear, Paladin of Tear. And hopefully that'll go ahead and shut the uh, Union boss away, and then we can put Agatha at the top of the organization, and Steve will be able to set up his law firm and act as somebody who can negotiate contracts for them with one of his agents. Now, I'm also going to try to convince Agatha, because this money, well, it might have to go through some scrutiny investigation from the legal side of things. I imagine we'll just be redeposited into the union's accounts after the fact, since it's their money. I kind of glance over to legal as he says that, like, trying to get a read of, is that how that would happen? Or would somehow the bureaucracy say, well, now we take it as the government? Legal and accounting are both going, yeah, that seems about right. Okay. So, the union, at least uh, from the perception that they'll have, they'll have just come into a windfall of uh, 10,000 gold. I'm going to see if I can convince Agatha to maybe donate some of that money for the founding of my church and hopefully get ourselves a base set up. Um, Mary raises her hand. I, I wasn't quite, <laughs> quite briefed. Are we some sort of legal private detective firms that are starting a church? If uh, needed. Uh, uh, Steve's like, yes. <laughs> Because you had mentioned the investigation and setting up a law firm at the church. <laughs> we do a lot of things. We help people that need help. We're, we're the odd jobs. And hurt people that need hurting. <laughs> she does raise an eyebrow at you. That looks like, okay. We, we do, can put them back together. Yeah, we do things that are need, that need doing. Okay. So Pulls out some paper and other stuff. So. Uh, jobs. And so does jobs like, that need doing. You just like reach into your suit and be like <laughs> start taking yeah, notes. Exactly. Very studious. First day on the job. Gotta take notes. Look good to the bosses. You know you've never had a job before. <laughs> You're aware that your character no, no, has no. never had a job. No, no, no exactly. His, his character has heard of people with jobs. Yeah. That is what she that is sounds what, like. She has <laughs> read about jobs in the storybooks. <laughs> Because <laughs> currently that's not someone that's had a job. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, we do have other options of <coughs> using the money in some way in order to, uh, like Mary suggested, pay somebody to get the union boss out of his position. Uh, just take the money and run. But mm. at least my opinion is, is I'd rather take what I think it'll be the longer payoff than just taking this m amount of money now. Because even if it's 10000 Doomsdayer said that he could make that back in five months. Once we get to laboratory, that is. Half a year. And what is, like, that's not... What's the word? You know, it looks over at Avon and goes, overhead. That's not taking overhead into account. That's fine. That's gross. Mm -hmm. Another thought is, uh, how skilled is this union boss? Blackmail could get them on our side if needed. We'd rather have them still in charge. Hmm. Hmm. 
Mm, boss good oh. question mark <laughs> well we haven't a- ever uh, had a uh, specific dealing with the guy but I think I like at least I personally like the idea of Agatha taking over keeping her busy is definitely something that'll keep things from getting too complicated for me yeah we've already gotten in with the second in command it does all the work anyway yeah, she is the actual uh, mover and shaker when it I comes to the I just want everything to be considered before. And honestly, I'm fine whether we take the money, pay to have someone remove him, or simply give it him. Uh, from what I understand, really, he's one of the people we need out of the way, one way or another, whether allied or Well, uh, we've already made arrested. one friend downstairs and... Uh, Thanks to your good work, I don't have to worry about Priscilla. In fact, I'm planning on capitalizing on the fact that uh, we've got a uh, flock without a shepherd anymore. Mm, Yes. Uh, Along with that, we probably need to figure out what needs to be done to mop up that situation. She, uh, you know, may no longer have her power, but she may still have some influence. Should be... Something we can take care of, but until then, uh, or rather, we should look into what's needed for that. Uh, along that front, um, we'll have looking, to see if she stays or leaves or what she plans on doing. Looking up to Spartacus, how did Innkeeper take things? Does he seem to be doing all right? Uh, he's busy since his boy went off to college. Wonderful, wonderful. Along that lines, to Abbott. Bags. <laughs> He's just like. <laughs> it looks like a lot. Um, it's more it was like a bit bags, of a bags, bags, yeah, bags. He's like was a bit of a, a a lot of it's copper. Yeah, he's looking through like the bags, like this is all copper. Uh, no, only these ones are all copper. These few are not. <laughs> Ching, this one's platinum. <laughs> um. Tell me when you're ready for me to add, to tell you what I give over. Stop it. I'm yelling at the computer, not you. Okay, yeah. I overestimated. It's about 1,200, about. <laughs> I do I was right. <laughs> Like just glancing over, that's only like a hundred and fifty in copper. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. I give the fourteen thousand one hundred ninety four copper. I give the five hundred and eighty eight silver. So both of those are the full amounts. Uh, I give three twenty two gold and forty eight platinum. Did you just shave yourself back up to where you were when no, you started? No, I'm still below where I'm still <laughs> below where I started, but I'm at least I'm to the point where I started getting uncomfortable. Oh, okay. I put myself back up to there. <laughs> no, it's in the mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you put money into this, and I've already put money from of that when I was uncomfortable in. Whenever I feel yeah, I felt like we need to keep adding to that number. Uh, also, date. They- Day was a good like couple hundred gold, wasn't it? Uh, I mean it was a lot <laughs> between tickets, food, and clothes. Oh, if it I count clothes, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the date wasn't a couple hundred gold. If you count clothes, mm-hmm. maybe. So, so mm, what what is our new party fund total? Uh, you have forty eight. Platinum, uh, 1,950 gold, 588 silver, uh, 14... Too quick. Oh. Uh, 48 platinum. 1,950 gold. Okay. 588 silver. All right. 14,194 copper. We only had gold in the account before. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. So, and he, he he's just like looking at all this and he goes I'm gonna need to go to the bank today can I help 
looking up at Spark as Spark goes, don't worry. Um, I can move it. Uh, but yeah, so Molly, you don't have to worry about Priscilla uh, anymore. It seems like uh, Richter's taking care of that. Well, again, I don't know that she's gone. She's without power. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if we need more information on what to do to get her gone, or. Well, we can keep an eye on her, I suppose, but... Uh, so this isn't a video game. I don't have a tracker thing to see whether that's objective complete yet or not. Right. <laughs> so what, what, did, uh, what did you guys... It's infuriating. What, what did you guys learn about uh, the nearby um, zone? Uh, anything yet? <laughs> or are they still... Uh, Looking into that, uh, they are still looking into it. Okay. So far, it is mostly slums. Always a sign of a good, healthy economy. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was something that I was going to call. Well, people don't notice criticize. people going missing from slums. Yeah, Jake goes. It'd be a decent recruitment pool. Hmm. One way or another, eh? Right. I love making her feel uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're all looking at you. Duke Sarah's just like... <laughs> I'm literally like, as I say things, I like glance over towards her. There's just crickets and Doom Sarah thinks it's funny. <laughs> so, um... As far as what we would need to turn over to the cops, I mean, we've got the books and... I mean, we've got the f fake chops, but I would think that we would uh, probably end up turning the real ones, but Agatha would have access to those. So. Well, what are the chops, chops for the other accounts? tied to this account. Oh, okay. So it's different. Uh, yeah, you'd have to find the chop or have uh, Captain... I pulled it up in case you'll get out of the trouble. Uh, Luther McLean. You go and find him. Yeah. So does that mean we don't actually have access to that 10,000? Like, we couldn't pull it out because we don't no. have the key? No, that, that's... Uh, uh, you would need to get the chop to pull the money out. Oh, okay. Would we need to get the chop in order to turn them in? It, you need the chop to link the accounts. So hmm. the account is not in his name. To link him to the account, you need to plant the chop somewhere for the captain to find it, or trust the captain to find it. Hmm. And Captain seemed high level. He wiped up a few, uh, a few of our old ones. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just the one. Uh, he he's capable at least. Yeah. Molly's glaring at you. I'll bring him back when we get the lab. But uh, <laughs> so <laughs> that could. Because the the chop wasn't actually in the office, was it? Uh, we didn't did, find it. Not that you found. Okay. Hmm. Because whatever the the other chops and the ones that we have the fake ones are for the l legit union account. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. Maybe union boss keeps that chop on him or something. Mm -hmm. It's like flipping back through. You mentioned a lady that worked uh, underneath him. Mm -hmm. Would she know where that trap is? Or at least if you gave her both sets of books, she could turn it into the guard and they would be able to investigate? The, the, the guard could definitely investigate. Uh, her knowing where the trap is is probably super unlikely just because it was money he was stealing from the Union. Mm -hmm. She had the sense that he was stealing from the Union, right? Was she at all involved in... Not that you could tell. Okay. Oh. Out of game knowledge, wasn't she one that brought it up to us that she thought was something fishy was going on? Yeah. And wanted help to get behind the locked door? Mm, I don't think she asked for help to get behind the locked door. I think no. she just brought up that something fishy was going on. Yeah. yeah. She did not task you with any of this. No. Well, 
after she was converted, she asked if we knew anyone who could pick locks. Was something she did mention. That's the only reason I thought that. I'm relatively sure that was a response into can you get them into the office? And she said the door's locked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, um, uh, Abbott, with uh, what you learned about uh, the books, is it uh, just uh, the union boss or could these implicate anybody else? No money exchanges between somebody else? Uh, uh, not in these books. These are for what is being taken out and deposited. I don't have the accounts, the books for like the actual account. I just have what he's documented. Oh, okay. So they'll they'll have to look into the actual account that whatever the bank holds for this in order to get more information. Mm-hmm. And again, this none of this is tied to the union boss's name. Is it tied to somebody's name? It's tied to a name. But is it a person? Most names are non-mobile. Like, would it have to be tied? Would it? They'd be tied to a certain person that maybe he's using as a ally? I think it's no tied to a block. No idea. It's a name. It's a, you're, like you're Michael, asking Mike, if a name written on a piece of paper is tied to a person. He has no idea. I am asking if would it have to be in order for it to be a bank account? I'm asking not, about how the bank accounts would work. Not technically. Okay. Hmm. So if it's not even... Potentially tied to the union's boss's name, would we actually be? Would this be something that would stick on him? Sounds like not, unless we got the shop thing, the key, and you said you had investigated his office. Did anyone ever investigate his home? No. No. You want to get on that? I don't know where he lives. Perfect, you get on it. Also, wouldn't he be at home at night? I mean, so much the better. Wouldn't he not be home during the day then? (sighs) Uh, Also, also this guy might not be home at night, depending on how much of a uh, party duty he is. I suppose. Say. Don't, do not know his patterns as far as how often he's at his residence, given that we don't know him very well or where he lives. So, you don't know his name. Yes. I don't think we know what he looks like. No. Uh, he's a gnome. <laughs> yes. We know that. Which is more fun to task Mary with a job than <laughs> there is no possibilities. <laughs> Well, Molly, you want to help uh, help out with that? Sure, I can investigate that guy. Yeah. What What's his name? Yeah, find out Union Boss and where he lives, and whether or not he uh, ends up at his house at night. Well, that obviously might take a while to get a pattern. Yeah. For a pattern, but I'm sure some one, nights he does, and others he doesn't. One night at least tells us if uh, he does at all. So, if he doesn't, I don't know how she's gonna find. Mm-mm. Pick up Badger by scruff of neck and set it down with the whatever remainders of my plate. <laughs> it's, uh, Allow it to wander to other people's plates whether they're done or not. <laughs> uh, roll handle animal check. Ah, oh, the little badger! <laughs> Call it over to me to pet it. It's not an animal. Mm. Well, I still try to call it over to me like it's a handle animal check. <laughs> Rather it responds to it is its prerogative. Yes, plus six. So 21. But. Uh, you start. Mm-hmm. You showed me how you like to greet people when you met me. 
So the badger comes over, sweetness and myrrh comes over and starts looking like it once you put her hand out to pet it. And when you do, it uh, crawls in my lap and curls up. I no. believe it bites your hand. Uh, what's your AC? Uh, 14, but I am expecting this. It is still a badger. <laughs> yeah, which is why it doesn't you get, get your advantage. Yeah. That's a good point, Mr. Portons. Mr. It's a new day. Have you foreseen this? <laughs> <laughs> I have an 11 out of 12 today, man. <laughs> well, it's probably probably good enough to hit that AC. Uh, yeah, so it goes up and snaps at your hand, but you expecting it to pull it out of the way. Mm-hmm. Bad, Mr. Patrick. See, 12 probably would have done it. <laughs> it actually would have. <laughs> I foresee you getting well, better. all the same. Finish up our food. And a badger uh, ste- take bites your plate and just like runs off with the entire plate and starts eating it. The plate, <laughs> <laughs> all, all of your food. Not nah, nah, so. nah. Just hear the smashing plate over there. That's one angry badger. As it finishes your food, it goes back over and curls up around uh, Doctor Richter's neck. He looks at you and just whatever noise it is badgers make. I don't. I don't know. And this one went. Yeah, I imagine. I imagine they sound sort of like possums. Yeah, uh, I did a hissy thing. Yeah, which they hiss at you. <laughs> it's like possums hiss at you. It's pretty good. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Well, today I will be going out and uh, comforting the lost and forgotten followers of Baldry. Is my plans. And hopefully I'll be able to get in contact with Abigail to talk with her about this. Alrighty. So as you guys finish up your food, the, uh, let's see here. We got Spartacus and Jake going off to investigate the slums. Molly's moving over uh, to look for the union boss. Mm Mm-hmm. And uh, what else are you? You got Steve, who doesn't have anything to do, and Abbott, who doesn't have anything to do. Well, Abbott has to go and do uh, uh, Bank, bank uh, yeah, banking stuff, but that will not take his whole day. And he does bring up that you have enough money to purchase the property now. Oh, we do. Very good. Mm. I thought Maybe that was need... like four thousand. Was it four thousand, Ryan? I believe so. Mm-hmm. Nope, that's not it. Anything? It's way too far back. Mm, Abbott says that he needs 4,000 gold for places. Mm-hmm. What do we have? About 2,000. Okay, so probably not, we're not thinking that you discussing your I have a church is going to quite get it down to what we have. Okay. Maybe. So you can work on that. Um, so you said legal was free? Uh, no, he was working on trying to figure out how to turn my church into a legal entity for charity. That was the last thing he was working on. Okay. So just have it. Um, uh, you're about a little bit less than 500 off from 4,000. Okay. Um, you have... Wait, I did my math horribly wrong. That's amazing. What a failure. You're a thousand and three hundred off. Thirteen hundred off from uh, being able to make it. Did you miss move the copper? Yep. 
Yep. Fuck up the That's column. what that sounds like. <laughs> I was like, but that about, that would be... <laughs> that silver-colored copper. They got confused. Yeah, silver-colored copper. Yep. No. Unfortunately, Eric had a big sack of copper for us. Doesn't surprise me. Yeah, I know I said that you guys get to choose up or down, but I realized that's a terrible idea. So platinum, it's always going to start bottom up on percentages. Hey, time I give you random money. Darn it, he figured it out. It's like, <laughs> we all a... knew the math didn't roll, but we were going to let you go. So yeah. yeah, and then choose the highest, lowest. I literally, like, after <laughs> 1% the of big number is bigger than 1% of small number. Yeah, I literally thought about it. I'm like, that was, that's a dumb, dumb thing. <laughs> that's stupid. That's real dumb. Uh, but yeah, so... Yes, I was. Yeah, Abbott's got, uh... <clears throat> bank exchange to go on. Um, I don't know. If he wants to set up a meeting with the uh, retail dude for me to go and talk with him, if he wants to just give him a notice of that, that'd be something he could do. We don't have the money. Yeah, but I still wanted to try to negotiate with him. Okay. I can set that up. Okay. Um... Say, maybe get the price down, and then if we still need I feel like we're further than yeah. we want to be. If we were that 500 off, I feel like that would be the time to do that. Say, if we need to still get money, that'll at least give us a, a new goal that we have to hit instead of uh, four. Uh, again, but with looking into purchase of property, another one just to gleam at, even if it's not necessarily on the market right now, Perhaps the value of what might be involved within would be a church whose hop has recently gone out. Uh, well, if you're talking about that, then we're just, if we get a hold of that property, it's just going to be turned into a parking lot. We could use it for plenty of things. Yes. Do I have religion? No. I don't know. Do you have religion? No, I do not have the knowledge of religion. Have you lost it? You're losing your religion? No, I was going to say, if it's, you know, a global church, they might have more than one priest and just send a replacement priest and not, you know, get rid of the entire church in the city. No, this was her house. That, that idea doesn't make sense. I'm going to go with some priests just live in the church because the church provides for them and that it was always no, no, the church. No. Th this was like her personal house with her husband. This wasn't like some sort of communally funded church or something as far as I know. I don't know. I, I, I haven't got she may be needing to leave the city soon. She's done terrible things and needs to atone for them. I mean, maybe she'll sell it, and sell it off, but we don't know that yet. Or hand it off to somebody else, I don't know. But, um... Uh, yeah, I'd say... As far as something else we're having to do, I guess he could go back to his work of uh, investigating... Um, profitable business in the area since that was something that he got pulled off on. Let's see, you know, when was that that he was actually working on that? Uh, yeah, he was working on that a while ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because he's had a lot of stuff that's pulled him off of that. Yeah, pretty much this entire thing has pulled him off of that, so he hasn't gotten any of it done. So no. yeah, he can start working on that. You're right. Yeah. Uh, what would the group like me to do? It's my first day and everything. Who can I help out? Uh, hold on a sec. What are your skills? I go into a bad tribe of, you know, the different magics I learned and, you know, actual skills, animal handling, athletics, nature, perception, and survival, but... I can build a fire! <laughs> <laughs> but the magics that allow me to turn into other th shapes, I have the ability to 
cure diseases and restore the blind, heal, uh, empower someone for a short hmm. time, hmm. speak with animals, see through their senses, detect magic. Uh, do you do you have wild shape yet? Yeah. Well, may, maybe you want to uh, go around uh, places as a uh, animal and start uh, getting a lay land. Maybe you want to go with Molly and help her with the uh, union boss investigation. You already dressed the pot. Mm-hmm. Well, glaring at Molly for that one. <laughs> she just looks at it and he goes, "Some of us know how to dress appropriately." Doomsday are sitting like pretty close <laughs> to her. Just. <laughs> uh, well, while I can turn into an animal, it is only for about two hours, and then I have to take a break. Let's see. Well, you can use your discretion when that's useful. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like a requirement. Yes, but I did notice that I was on a short rest. I can, you know, use it twice for half my druid level hours. Round it down so only an hour. <laughs> mm-hmm. But then I can take a midday rest and do it for another two hours and then just keep taking short rests. But I can't fly yet, so. Right. Neither can I. Mm-hmm. I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like slow as wings. That is a question, just in the society in general. Uh, how many people are just flying? Like, how many people are just up in the air? Not a lot. There's only like two races that got flight. Right? Yeah. Air- Kinku don't fly, right? They don't Aracoca fly. fly. Aracoca fly. Aracoca fairies. Fairies are new. Mm-hmm. Got that new shininess. What about the new owl people? Yes. There you go. Owls fly. Well then. Bears don't fly, but that doesn't matter because there are no bears. <laughs> like and he's not bitter people. about it at all. Not at all. Everyone wants cat girls. Everyone wants dog people. But no. Bears? No bears. <laughs> Birds? Sure. Dragons? Absolutely. Six different flavors of, you know, lizard? Sure. Why not? Turtles? Go to nuts. But yeah. bears suddenly were nuts. We're going you, crazy. You, you just want a big, broad shouldered woman with little round ears on the top of her head, don't you? Uh, I'm don't not we saying all. that's wrong. Don't we <laughs> all. <laughs> I'm not saying that's wrong. Is that Abbott's response? <laughs> so, yeah, if um, Belle and uh, Molly want to do the union boss work, just report back to Mary and tell him what you've learned to, so uh, he can do stuff at night if he needs to. Okay. Okay. Come on, girl Mary. Mm-hmm. My name is actually Maribel. <laughs> Good for you. His name's not actually Sparky. As she walks past Spartacus. Mm-hmm. So, that's everybody settled with something to do today. Rick, uh, Richter, do as you please. Mary just goes, Do you need help at all? Change with into not that. What you're doing around the... Didn't you say this was I probably mean, a word call? I suppose I you could help. Anything. I'll at least follow along to see what the uh, situation is like today. Okay, I, I, then I'll we go can back to my room change move back on from there or the traveler's clothes I was wearing yeah, before. If you I don't know how much of an opposition she still in the traveler's car. Yeah, yeah, if you want okay. to double check the work so that, with uh, that's her, no that's... for the morning meeting? Yeah. It's for whenever you don't want to look like shit. Oh. She says as she's walking down the stairs. I was just trying... It didn't seem like it, if there was a dress code of, you know, the proper attire, but after seeing the uh, older gentleman, it seems like not. <laughs> She's, like, looking at you with her head to the side and goes, What? What do you think it is we do here? Well, like I said, it seemed you were some sort of de- religious detective law firm. We're a gang. You, you joined a gang with really bad terms. Oh, she's spoiling it! <laughs> <laughs> but I read those terms. I, I still can get out whenever I need, and I don't owe the group any money when I do. Oh, oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> That's all technically true. Sure. Welcome to the pyre. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I go with her and, you know, 
offer my services. Of I, I can speak with animals given ten minutes, and you know, enhance ability and She's like, Oh, we're not doing any of that. No. <laughs> she goes and sits on the corner outside of the building and just sits there. Like so our, our building or the guild house building? The the mm. union. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I, at first, I thought we just went out beside the red horse and sat on the corner there. No. <laughs> no, she went went and sat outside. I wouldn't put it past her either, to be fair. <laughs> I, I spent a day with her. Yeah, she's just chilling outside the union. Mm-hmm. All right, so Ryan, what are you doing? I will be going around to all whatever, I think it was eight of my dedicated followers and seeing who's available and free. And I'm going to... Um, I tell them that we heard that there's been a uh, tragedy that's happened with um, the uh, priest of the Church of Baldry, and uh, I wanted to go and comfort uh, people who need comforting and give our support in this time. Meanwhile, I go outside the church, and I'm pulling a molly outside to watch and see what's going on in that environment. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> Uh, perception checks for Adam and Ron. Nice. Good. Fifteen. Twenty-one. Okay. Uh, you were talking to your people. Don't say anything. You see a man and a woman dressed in uh, heavy plate armor with packs. Leading, uh, leading a couple of horses and walking out of town. It's uh, Priscilla and her husband. Keep a distance. Huh. Uh, they're noticeable, right? If I lose them uh, well, for a moment, like they're walking horses, so they're like we're leading horses. Yeah, so, so yeah. like they're yeah. So you know, so I feel like come I can keep it. I watch. I I follow from a distance, at yeah. least to the gate. Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, walk out the gate, hop on the horses, and start riding out. And and as I walk, does it feel like they've packed up? Um, they have like packs along the horses or something like they're they've taken provisions. They're so really like you're investigating the things that they have. Yeah, I'm just like, tr- you're, you're I'm trying to. I, basically, I'm trying uh, to. Does it seem like they're going on a long trip? Go ahead and do an Arcana check. I hate your world. <laughs> Is that a 19? 10. The 10? Okay. Let's see. Uh, Arcana. You know that kind of wizard? 17. Uh, you recognize the general make of their bags. Most of their bags are uh, dimensionally spaced and channels. Okay, so they've likely taken some. And the horseshoes. I will... Uh, I don't want to, like... Bog up the gate. So when I get there, I go out into a comfortable spot out, and I just watch them into the distance for yeah. I don't know, up to an hour. Yeah, they're riding off, and then I go back to the church. Yeah. Uh, church. Oh, okay. Well, it took you. Yeah, uh, it took me a while. Yeah, it took you a while. So, uh, Ryan. you talk to your people. Or yes. Are you just going to go around and comfort people and talk to them, or what are you doing? Yep, yeah, I will be going around to the followers of uh, the Church of Baldry and trying to convert them over to my church, since theirs up and collapsed. They're like, hey, you're not doing anything on Saturday. And he's just like, we want to be able to comfort people and welcome you into our family, if you so choose. Okay, uh, you can do a... How long are you going to go around proselytizing and advertising your church event and what day are you what are you telling them oh uh are you just in general saying hey this uh, there is another religious figure here in this area you're not without guidance are you telling them hey we're having another meeting da, 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 such and such yeah, yeah, yeah. I, i'm going to go with the first one uh i was hoping that we'd be able to get our own place before i had another like dedicated sermon okay there. Go ahead and uh, I assume you have some preparations before you're going to talk to people? Yes, so I'll go ahead and use my enhanced ability. 
Okay. Yeah. You need enhanced your strength. That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Needs a 16. So. Yeah. So I get uh, 25 on my first. Alright, and how long are you doing this for? I'll do it for the day. Okay. Uh, just go ahead and give me two more rolls then. Right. And uh, unless you're going to cast the second enhance ability, this third one will not be enhanced. Okay, so I'll be able to get uh, second roll out of one cast. Wait, it only lasts an hour, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, then, yeah, your second and third one you have to cast for each one of those. Okay. Two. Then I'll go ahead and use the uh, second one, and then the third roll will just be unadvantaged. So that's 20. Okay. And then that's 18. Okay. So you had a relatively positive response throughout the day. Right. And people are pretty happy to know that they're not without any form of uh, guidance or sucker for their emotional issues. Yeah, we're here to help people when there's nobody else to go to. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so that's your day. You have like a few more hours before you need to go to bed for your yeah, the day shift. I'll be waiting for my stuff at night. Mostly. Okay. I, I'm just saying like, yeah. you, you still have a couple more hours where you can dick around if you feel like doing anything. Not just being around. Okay. Uh, Doc, back to you. Okay. Um, so, I get back to the temple. First off, is there anything nailed to the door or anything obvious? Uh, the door is closed. Are you, like, going to, like, look in the windows or anything? Like, are, are you investigating? Um, are you my just... first action is to go as if it were normal and open the door. It is locked. I'll pause there. Come and I wait 30 second, seconds. And I walk towards the corner of the building. Uh, does the building have space all around it? Is it. Uh, yeah, it's got uh, space to the sides. It's okay. got like a little bit of a yard. Uh, I'm just going to stand for a bit and I look sort of around up and down the street. Populous. Anyone noticing that? No, them? there's people there. I mean, like, you know, there's the centaur wandering by <laughs> delivering mail. There's, you know, guards marching by every now and again. There's people passing. Yeah. I mean, it's it's on a thoroughfare. It's yeah. not tucked away, so. No one notices or cares that I couldn't get into the church. <laughs> um, shake my head. Sort of walk down towards the back one. What's, or when facing it, the left side, what's down that side of the building as I so facing the front of the building, like... Yeah, if I were facing the front, I went to the left corner, and then I went sort of down the side. Oh, you're going down the, the left alley. Yes. Left side. Okay. Uh, you go down uh, the alley, and it goes into, like, a back double-wide spacing behind it, mm -hmm. similar to where the shops were. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, primarily for, like, utility things, like taking in and out rubbish and filth, things like that. That's, like, where the trash cans would go, kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, they're... It, the building itself is larger than most of the other ones because mm -hmm. most of the other ones are residences. Yeah. And this one, instead of having a backyard, kind of has a, what appears to be a, some nature of stable and the rest of it is building. So it's like large. It's The building is almost the size of a lot. Like there's a little bit of a front yard, but there isn't much of a back. Is there a spot that looks like, is there like a window that I feel like no one from the main street's going to notice me? Oh, yeah, there's, there, there's, there's windows in the back. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a peek in a window. Just... Okay. Uh, perception check. Uh, 8. It's, uh... I mean, there's light filtering through just because it's daytime, but it seems like just empty. No lights on. Nobody's off. Okay. And it's, uh... You're looking into... Well, if those minutes would probably be shared. Yeah, you're looking into like uh, the main portion of the church. Okay. See what my abilities even freaking are. I don't know what I can do. 
I haven't figured this character out yet. It's only been a minute. Where's your badger? Do you have it like in Oops. out or in the space? I'll have it in the space. Okay. It's more convenient. I mean, if you don't know what a badger is, they look cute. <laughs> Just seeing how many children got mauled. Uh, oh. No. <laughs> must be an American badger. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, this alley behind it doesn't seem too populated, and there's there's a section that doesn't feel like I'm on the property, right? Yeah. You're, I sit you're down, right and I, um, ritual cast detect magic. Okay. You, uh, blink a couple times, and take out your little eyedropper, <laughs> put them in, and look at, uh, the walls, and... Windows and yeah, it seems like uh, windows and walls have uh, some magic on them, but they are utility. And then uh, for the main direction, when you look over at the other walls, it seems like there is magic on their windows and doors as well, which I have to look up. Come and knock on my door. Let's hope my door's enchanted and it will explode. No door has ever exploded on any of you. Yet. Still not sure about mm. those. D this of all stands. the wonderful uses of dispel magic if you get access to it. You have to figure out what level. Yeah, I might be able to concoct that through potion. Go away, magic. <laughs> Anti magic sludge. <laughs> Now I'm just imagining you throwing bottles of, like, expanding web. So two-part polymer it's that just It's a uh, <laughs> relatively weak aberration. Okay. Ab abjuration. Abjuration, yeah. not aberration. <laughs> Those are different words. Way different. Uh -oh. <laughs> just relatively weak ghosting there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Aberrations are like mind flares and stuff. Mm -hmm. mind, mind yeah, flares abjuration. And Sorry. Um, no. <laughs> and uh, Abolus. And yeah, yeah it's, uh, it seems to be on that. And uh, there's also like the door at the stables that's also done. And then the stables seem to have some utility magic on them as well. Looking around to other buildings, is utility magic just everywhere on all buildings? I don't look. <laughs> I mean, I notice, I'm sure. Um, I would imagine some more on businesses, less on, on residential. residential. Might be on certain parts of a residence where someone is more paranoid about someone getting in directly, but it's the kind of thing that's going to cost money. It's not necessarily always worth it. I don't know why you're looking at me. I'm not answering any questions. <laughs> I'm making up my own answers because that's what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why am I getting I'm sitting here where I can look at things. And as he points out, so no, you can't help but notice. Um, and I'll, I'll walk sort of back towards the button, um, up the same alley that I'd come through. Does it feel like the hollow is still in the main part of the building? You do not see any divine magic radiating from the building. Okay. And you knew from your previous experiments that the steps leading in uh, were part of that. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> um, I'm going to take a little more time. Just feeling confident that we have removed her as an obstacle. Okay. So you wander around. You've got about ten minutes before that spell goes off. Mm-hmm. If I notice anything, um, it doesn't just seem normal. I mean, it's a bit more enchanted than the houses on either side of it. How far am I from Thurston Hills? Uh, within yeah, the ten minutes, okay, ten fifteen minutes walk. You're not. You're in residential. That's I'd have to recast it. it. Yeah. Not not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> You're so mad at poor Thurston. <laughs> no, I just have money now. 
That's true. But I should probably wait until I also have like an actual closet before I, I get more wardrobe. Nah, man, you can <laughs> you always get a closet later. Get yeah. a closet and wherever you go. You know, maybe if we get a portable hole, it would be, it could be a closet in there. But <laughs> bag of <laughs> holding, it's just sort of chaotically in there. It's yeah, but all wrinkle free. It's in an external space. It's fine. It doesn't crumple. Doesn't crimp. That's very true. You can put a glass of water in there, and as long as you're careful when you're pulling it out, you won't spill any. Magic. Magic's crazy, yo. M much like our purple hole discussions, I would not think that of a bag of holding. <laughs> what? It's an extra-dimensional space. If you put a glass of water into it and shake it, you're not shaking the extra-dimensional space. It, yeah, but, but you could think the extra dimensional space is like a loose, like void semi gravity of things just kind of from, where it not necessarily would spill out from from an actual gravity, but the the liquid would just sort of no loosely things float don't around. flow out of bags either. Like if you put a thing of coins in there, they don't flow out. If you have bird seeds in there, it doesn't flow out and fill out the entire bag. Both those things, I in my mind have rosters. Tie, yeah, <laughs> doesn't matter. You don't have to tie them. Yeah. That's just if different you ways. throw loose bird seeds in there, then it, there's just loose bird seeds in there. But it doesn't touch anything else. You can take a dump into your bag of holding if you felt so inclined, and it would just be poop. <laughs> Wouldn't taint anything else in there. Wouldn't taint anything else. You can put food. Regardless, in stay away from my bag of holding. What's wrong <laughs> with you? <laughs> they appear to have their own gravity. Yeah. Um. I head towards Union Hall. Union Hall. The Union. Oh, the Union Building. Yeah. I didn't know you were naming things. I'm sorry, is that not a name you've given it? I'm sorry, my brain has, has given it that for a while. Oh, that's where you want to head. Okay, you head, start heading that way. It's going to take about a half hour. Okay. I'm probably not going to do anything when I get there, but... Nick, yeah, you've been <laughs> sitting outside of this building for about four hours now. Eventually, I take out my farmer's Almanac star map and start just going over, you know, noting the weather and other things so I can predict, you know, tomorrow's weather. Which is a function of it. What's tomorrow's weather going to be like? Cloudy with a chance of meatballs? <laughs> On that measure, what's today's weather like? <laughs> Relatively fair. <laughs> well, wait, I actually have to cast, uh, what is that? Oh. Well, when I was uh, going around collecting Druid people, was that. I able to uh, get in contact with Agatha? Or was she... Uh... She's at work. Okay. You have to remember, you guys wake up at like 8, 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Most people Should are... Should we sleep in? Well, maybe I'll be able to check on her in the after work. Even. Yeah. So. yeah. So, yeah, I'm just playing with my almanac, noting the local weather and other things I see here, like if any birds or stuff come and settle on eaves or things. You know, watching the door, but also just looking around at all the other stuff and noting it down. Okay. Uh, it's going to be raining like crazy tomorrow. Yeah. The next day is going to be super stormy, really gross, and absolutely disgusting. And it's all Nick's fault. Just you know, it was just going to be another day. Nothing that important happened, but Nick has made that day disgusting. If you don't pay attention, people. he like me doesn't think about weather. Yep, <laughs> hair doesn't matter. I have an ability, though. Yeah, you have ability to make the weather bad. Thanks. <laughs> hey, we could use that. Keep it up, you'll destroy the entire city. <laughs> Finally. Then what are we taking over? Uh, evidently this mud pit. <laughs> Tomorrow's weather, Godzilla. <laughs> Uh, go ahead and do a perception check at disadvantage. You can't roll any lower, <laughs> Nick. <laughs> hey, it's a skill check. Uh, so that's plus one. So you crit Seven. failed. Yeah. yeah. That's a crit miss. That's there are no crit only... fails for skill checks. Yeah. Yes, but I punish people for uh, crit failures and reward them for crit successes even on skills. Okay, so house rules, not a, okay. <laughs> yes, I, I, it, yes, you still got a seven. However, if, when you crit fail, it, I still need to know. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got a seven. Good, good to know. Mm -hmm. 
Say a couple hours go by. Look around, Molly's gone. <laughs> Am I walking by? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you're walking by. And uh, girl Mary is just sitting there by herself. Seems to be playing with a book. By playing, you mean working on, but yes. <laughs> yeah, as far as he's concerned, you're probably playing with it. It doesn't seem to be a corpse, nor is it educational. I kind of look at Mary's high. Molly tricked you into reading a book for her, too. <laughs> 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 no, the, this is my book, but she has been. Did I just notice she yes, was gone? She has it. I don't know. Did you want to? She might come back with food. Turn into a cat and maybe go look and see if you can find a nameplate for the boss. Oh, if someone asked me that, I just. No, we don't. <laughs> no, I'm not there. Not if there. I felt like there was a nameplate, I felt like I would have seen it. I was there. Also, if someone says we don't know the union boss's name, I would just ask random union member, hey, what's the boss of the union's name? I don't know we don't know that. Yeah. So, do you just ask random people? Like, a random person? Hey, that's a union, right? Yeah. What's the union boss's name? Catterwall or Morris? Oh, okay. Thank you. Head on off. <laughs> Catterwaller. Morris. That's Random right. name generator. I don't know why it came up with that one either. <laughs> Catterwaller Wallace. The, the gnome. Catterwaller Morris. Morris. You have a generator right there too now. Yeah, but these are weird names. Oh yeah, they are. <laughs> I'd rather go with Catterwaller. Is this the Norwegian book? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So it's pretty Cat old. Or I know. It's I bought actually, it from the It's, it's mm -hmm. CAD. It's C A D W A L A D R. I don't know how you would pronounce that. Okay. Mm -hmm. it is but the important thing is to old. notice that he didn't know the name until now either. <laughs> it's no. I've had it sitting here for a while. Uh oh. <laughs> Since is, we brought it up in the morning meeting, it's like, oh, you don't know his name. I should probably find that out. It's, old, like, uh, it's old Welsh for leader of battle. Interesting. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the battle against, you know, low wages. <laughs> and then Morris is like, I'm like, okay, why'd you give me a super easy last one? Well, <laughs> whatever. Dude's parents. Yeah. What time of day is it? Is it uh, it's uh, a little bit past noon. I, I will head back to the Red Horse to check and see if anyone's there. If uh, Molly's come back, okay. You just get up. It, it's like I, I. It's like I don't say anything. But there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah, because your day is spent. Your day. You're already asleep at this point, and you're. Uh, so yeah, you go um, back to the Red Horse and the innkeepers there. Yeah, innkeepers there. Mm -hmm. And again, just wander my my day of wandering. I wander over towards the. It's just the stable. It's the track. The, the, the circle. 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 Yep. Are they still? Are they serving lunch? They close down. Ooh, uh, the that's stand. A good, that's a good question. D does the stand open on non race days? Sometimes. Yeah. 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 Not all day, but. You're in luck. They still have food. All right. Uh, how, how much was it? Was it for uh, today? today? It, yeah. it changes. Yeah. Uh, I didn't even prepare a meal for today. Gosh. It seems to be uh, some nature of uh, crumpets mm -hmm. with uh, like layered. Uh, there's like. Some egg in there, some nature of a sausage. There's like a cheese melted over it. Mm. And how much? And uh, it comes with uh, some cakes that are made out of potato that are pressed together. <laughs> you have found fancy breakfast sandwich in a hash brown patty. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a 
a sausage egg McMuffin and some hash brown. A McMuffin. <laughs> <laughs> Not English muffin on this one. This is still... Standards. Standards. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, it's uh, three silver. Okay. And you get uh, two sandwiches, two hash browns. Okay. How uh, far is this from the Union building? Uh, it's about an hour and a half. Okay. Mm, never mind then. I'll, I'll still get one while I'm here. Yeah. After I get back to the inn and check for Molly, I'll head back. But all right, you know, in there, uh, perception check. Seventeen. Yeah, don't say you're in the inn. I, I ask uh, the barkeep if Molly has been back since this morning. He just goes, not that I've noticed. Okay, thank you. And then I'll head back out and go back and watch the Union building. But I'll grab some lunch first to eat that and then head back out. Okay. I'm going for it. <laughs> uh, when you uh, get back to the Union building, go ahead and roll a perception check. So, 14. All right, you don't seem to see her. Mm-hmm. And given my first time in the city, how often have I seen people doing any magic sort of stuff on the street? Around here, not often. Mm-hmm. I mean, you saw a bunch of it when you were coming in because you went and looked up in the fields and all that. There was a lot of magic going on. But uh, uh, where you currently are, I mean, there's some, but not a lot. But definitely no one sitting down for a full ten minutes to cast a ritual or anything like that? I mean, not that you can see from where you're at. No. Oh. Well, I just meant, have I seen it at all since I've been in the city? No, but you've been here for like a day and a half. Mm. So, I do not think to do that. Maybe if I see it more often in the future, I'll know it is okay. But I mean, if you're me, mm-hmm. like a bunny... So, I was sitting there watching the guild hall. I know he is a halfling. Still a union. Yeah, you, union. <laughs> but I do appreciate that I'm not the only one that keeps messing it up. I think it's uh, your fault that Nick keeps messing it up. Or Nick is guessing, in which case he uh, is, you know, mm, required no. to mess it up. The guy's a gnome. No, yeah. Alright, so you're just sitting there watching the exterior of the building? Mm-hmm. That's for you for the rest of your day? Yeah, I'm going to head back to the inn if I don't see him okay, leave. Well, he, yeah, or he more a perception check. Okay. Uh, 14 again. So uh, it doesn't go off my passive. Of you see... <laughs> what's your passive? 16. Uh, the way passives work is you're always aware of things that fall within the range of your passive because yeah. you can see them. That's yeah. like you're uh, automatically aware. Your base. <laughs> yeah. You uh, see, like, three gnomes wander out of the building at some point. Uh, two male, one female. Uh, it, it's closer to evening. Which male is fancier dressed? Uh, none of them are in zoot suits. Mm. I mean, uh, you can... Uh, you're looking at them from across the way. They both seem to be wearing relatively standard work attire. So no Neither of gold them look chains like, or rings or anything like that? Uh, not with that perception check. You can't see that. Okay. Well, look around once more for Molly to see if she showed back up. Then I'll... Okay. Uh, you can do another perception check. If you're going to look around. Yeah. Uh, 17. Uh, you look around, still don't see her. Well, then I'll pick whoever left last to follow that no home. Okay, the left one who left last was a female. Oh, 
male. I, okay, I, I well, know I, the I, boss is I male. kind of figured that you were looking after Okay. Uh, yeah. And uh, I will become... Our, oh, yeah, okay. How are you doing? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I'll duck off into an alley and become... How rodent infested is the city at all? Not really that you've noticed. Cats have climb speeds. Yeah, I'll become a cat. Cats aren't shunned and immediately bricked. <laughs> they, they kick the cat and kill it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you're just a stray cat wandering around. Yep. You're just following along after this guy. Okay. Uh, how close do you follow? Uh, are you following, like, are you trying to be sneaky or are you just, like, wandering behind him? Wandering behind him, going up buildings if I can, if there's, like, ledges and fences. But... Okay, so you're just, like, climbing all over buildings, being a cat. Mm-hmm. Uh, performance check? It's not gonna be a high DC. I just want to see if you, like, start reading street signs or something. You have to do your performance as a... <laughs> no, oh, no, because you have your own mentals with your yeah, way. You're yeah. not... Yeah. Yep. 19. Okay, yeah. You're, you're catting it up. <laughs> It's like, I know cats, there's cats on the farm. And they hunted you're, mice. You're, you're queer, well, queer of cats. Mm-hmm. So you follow him for about 40 minutes or so as he leaves that zone and goes into another one and uh, walks into a, seems like a bar. Mm. Uh, I will get up on, if I can, the building across from it. Okay, uh, perception check with advantage, because cats get that. Plus my own perception, so 24. And hey, uh, there's Molly! <laughs> <laughs> she just like waves at you. <laughs> I will re up my beast shape once that hour passes without transforming back. Okay. Question it's not specified. Can I take a, lo- a short rest while in beast shape? No. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of akin to concentrating. It's not. It's duration based. Yeah. Okay. Then I mean, yes. if it lasts yes. longer than the hour. Yeah, yeah, you can. You can take a, a short rest whilst in beat shape form. Yeah. So I just sort of pause up front, short resting so I can keep chaining together wild shape. Okay. Yeah, I guess if you're not really able to do anything <laughs> while I'm wild shape other than just stay there, yeah. No. Half an hour into your sitting there, mm-hmm. uh, Molly gets up and starts moving. Yes. <laughs> Follow the Molly. You did not get your short rest. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning I have like a half hour left of beast wild shape. <laughs> yeah. But I do follow her. All right. Uh, about... Mm. Yeah, uh, she's like running and like jumping from building to building and moving really quietly. Even with your enhanced kitty cat senses, it's like really hard to like hear her the way she's moving. She's moving pretty stealthily and impressively across the buildings and of uh, the town mm-hmm. while she's looking down, following. Uh, I, I check where she's looking. It, it, did that gnome leave? And I yep. not miss. I missed him. <laughs> <laughs> You're resting. You're not. <laughs> you're, you're not, I, I, I was resting st- looking at the front door. <laughs> yeah. That's not how buildings do. Huh. <laughs> I just assumed across the street from the inner bar when okay, I Okay, so it's a roof. Uh-huh. If you're on this side of the roof flying down staring at it, you can't see Molly. If you're huh. on the other side of the roof where you said you were keeping an eye on Molly, you can't see the door when you're lying down resting. Huh. So you would have had to pick one and you kept an eye on Molly. Yeah. Again, I, I, I was assuming flat top roofs. Again, I, I need to stop. All, all of them are pitched. I don't know why I assume that. What kind of tech? Like, there's flat top roofs in this city. Uh-huh. Not really. Not a lot. <laughs> It'd basically be whether or not you get snow. Depends on whether or not you get pitched roofs. You get pitched roofs, snow. Well, most flat of the, roofs, no snow. Most of the uh, buildings have tile roofing. Like. Yeah, which I think we even found like a business that like that's what they did. Yeah, they make terracotta out of tiling. Okay, so yeah, you and Molly are scampering along. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And about oh, 10 to 15 minutes later. So you're getting pretty close in your wild shape. Yeah. Uh, he, Molly stops and is staring over the edge of uh, a roof. As about, I don't know, 80 or 90 feet up the road, the gnome goes into a house and closes the door behind him. Okay. Uh, I'll get back down to ground level and change back, but I'll have... I'm thinking about enhanced ability, if I can still see Molly. Is enhanced ability touch? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'll go ahead and give myself enhanced ability wisdom for perception checks. Okay. For her. <laughs> for me to see Molly, in case she comes down, but yes. So you're just uh, down? Yeah. Okay. No. I will go over to Molly. She's on a roof, right? Yes, but you are no longer on. Yeah. Because I said that, and we have the Ryan rule. Gotcha. <laughs> I said that thing. I did that thing. I can't have to go back. You, you said that thing. You did two different actions. One was removing your wild state, and the other was casting a spell. So you're on the ground, yeah. cast a spell on yourself, and now okay. you're on the ground. Well, I will go into a different alleyway looking at his building where I can see it and Molly if I can. Uh, you cannot. Mm. The building is like 90 feet up the road. An alleyway to see it in the building. You're either under Molly where you can see the building so you can't see Molly or you're across the street from Molly so you can see Molly but not the building. Because mm. it's kind of a... What if he just went up to that building? He could obviously see because he's there, and then he's looking back at <laughs> Yeah, you could go up to the building, stand at the corner of the building, so the co building's not a corner eye looking at Molly. <laughs> but then you you're no longer in. <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> I'm not saying you can. It's not the kind of person I am. If that's what you want to do, you can. No. <laughs> okay. So you're just uh, staring at the building? Or are you standing at, staring at Molly? Yeah, I'll go across the way and stare back up at Molly and see if she motions for me or anything. Okay. Because I... If anyone asks, I'm watching Molly's back during this escapade once I found her again. <laughs> sure. You can make your perception, Jack. So, 21. She's two buildings down. That bitch. <laughs> <laughs> And she appears to be moving towards uh, the house. Yes, I, I will try to pace her down the street, a street over, <laughs> or, or at least just go towards the house. So you're on the street, or you're a street over. Those are two separate locations. On the street. Okay. Yes, just across from where she is, but still the same street. Okay, so other side of the street, not the next street over. Yeah. Okay. I was just like, you just like saw her and went, okay. <laughs> just took off. I'm like, I don't know what you're doing, but all right. All right. Yeah, so uh, Molly appears to be moving towards the uh, house. Hey. Mm. That was my intelligence. Yeah, plus one. It's like, I, I do a look around to see if there's anyone else on the street. There's lots of people on the street. Oh, okay. So I will not wave to Molly to try to get her attention. That could have people look up at her. <laughs> that seems like a bad idea. Uh, people are looking at you kind of strangely as you walk down the street like this. <laughs> I, I, I will try to stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Molly kind of passes into and outside of your vision as she moves down the road, but you kind of know where she's headed now, so you're able to keep a relatively close eye on her. Mm -hmm. And she... Let's see if she makes it. Uh, there's... I uh, just see this dark figure suddenly leap. Uh, go to leap across the gap. Did she make it? No. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I will go over to where Molly landed. Uh, as you get or walking up to it, you mm -hmm. see she's 
like gets up, looks around, starts climbing. Hold the on. Wall. It's like, hold on. Go over, enhance ability, dexterity. She did not hold on. <laughs> you are like probably 20 to 30 feet from her, and she's working on climbing a wall. And if you're just doing this, are you saying something? No, I, I, I quietly, I don't yell, but say, hold on. Okay, a guy next to you goes, what? Beatles. <laughs> I just walked down the alley. <laughs> <laughs> like there's people there's traffic it's, yeah. a, it's a living breathing city yeah, yeah and Beatles man <laughs> yeah doesn't he know about the Beatles uh, they're crunchy uh, yeah I just say Beatles and walk down the alley people just will leave crazy alone Beatles to you <laughs> as well Bunny mm -hmm. walks off and I don't know fucking Bunny apparently Bunny's like Beatles <laughs> but did Molly wait for me no, she did not hear you. Oh, because I did not yell. Because you're talking quietly. Yes. <laughs> there's do city, there's city sound do, right now. At any point, does I do I think Molly knows I'm out here? She's aware of you. Yes. Okay. She waved at you when you crawled up in cat form. Yeah. Weird that she knew I was me, but okay. <laughs> it's almost like she was watching you the entire time. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he would have kept making you make those checks to see her if she wasn't around. Mm. Well, I, I go to where she fell, and I will wait here for her if she comes back. Okay. I'll give it 20 minutes, then I will just head back out. Yeah, she's not back in 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll head back to the inn after that. It's like... I need to inform Molly I can give her magical support so she can do things like make those jumps. <laughs> yeah, it'd probably be a good thing to let them know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I brought it up at the morning meeting, but I, I'll specifically tell her, it's like, if you want to do stuff like that, I can give you a magical enhancement. So that is my plan. So I go back to the inn. Okay. So you go back to the inn for the night. Mm -hmm. Start seeing clouds kind of moving in. <laughs> As I predicted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so that's your evening, Adam. It's what, two in the afternoon for me? Yeah. Um, so I'm sitting, find a spot to sit and eat. Uh, you said I got two sandwiches? Yeah, I came with two sandwiches, two hash browns. So, Brad Badger comes out for one of the sandwiches. Uh, the way we converse with that. Um, they're like, relatively, they're like kind of slider size yeah. sandwiches. Okay. Um, does it have a name already? Do you ask it that? Yes. It looks up at you and just like stares at you. I mean, we can telepathically communicate, so. Which I feel is easier than verbally communicating with a badger. Uh, it just kind of looks at you and you get the like thought that it's like usually just badger will work. If you want to call me something else, I don't really care. Uh, he goes, uh... Yeah, sure. He, he looks at it and he goes, Last Master called me Filch. But I was a weasel for most of that. No, nope. Character doesn't care. I care. Character doesn't care. So... <laughs> Are you inhabiting that? Space? Um, from what realm do you hail? Familiars are either celestial. Oh, I, I know. Oh, I'm okay. just trying to think if this stupid little thing would know. Remember, it's a spirit. It's not actually an animal. Yeah. Uh, yes, I know. That doesn't make it smart. Not being an animal does not make something intelligent. Rocks aren't know. smart either. Hmm. Just kind of gives you a shrug. You can do uh, planes? That's a knowledge, isn't it? Or a No, maybe a no. 
Oh, it's just Arcana? Yeah, well, you can do an Arcana if you'd like. I don't know. Um. <laughs> I won. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Just like... Mm. I don't know. You we'll are from... Later. A realm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> if you remember, let me know. Finish from you. Um... Starts washing his face. <laughs> Cute badger motions. <laughs> we'll um, and we'll go by Thurston's after food. Yeah. Badger climbs up on your shoulder. <laughs> I go outside. Mister Howell. Hello. Look at you. I'm Let's just check the boots. Just running some errands. <laughs> Um, well, it's a perfect outfit for it. I know. I'm working on getting a place to stay. Maybe a little more closet room. I'll be back for that. But I came across a little friend. Do you have maybe just like a bow tie? Oh, do I have a bow tie? My <laughs> dear man! <laughs> You're speaking my language. He goes over and pulls out this chest. And he opens it and it's just like... <laughs> about like five or six shelving units of like... Bow ties come out of all different shapes, colors, designs. I check if anything strikes Badger's fancy at this point. Badger's just like. Uh. What do you want me to do? Uh, the Badger, like, kind of crawls down your arm and just starts going. <laughs> and he's pushing the drawers, looking at them. Is I'm pointing at one, and it's uh got like it's like a flame motif almost. And how much is the bow tie that I'm buying? <laughs> well, seeing how it's made of highest quality silk, and your little friend is going to need a uh, some nature of enchantment to make sure he can take it with you, so you don't have to put it on every time he pops in and out. And uh, no one wants to tie it really, so just put a little enchantment on the knot. And he goes, uh, 15 gold? Yeah. And uh, he pulls out, like, it looks like a little pin or a bar that he fits it around the badger's neck, and then he pushes the bar into the knot where it's tied, mm -hmm. and the bar basically disappears. You can't really see it. And uh, now whenever your badger pops in and out, it will have the bow tie upon it. Wonderful. <laughs> Now I'm wanting it to get a little top hat and a little <laughs> vest. It takes time. It takes time. If you'd like a top hat and vest. I, I don't even think about it yet. Just saying. There are things here. I, I know what I the place is. I imagine that little pig will just somehow magically affix it to its head so it couldn't shake it off. <laughs> <laughs> or it would have to, you know, make a conscious effort to think, I want to take off that, and then it would fall off. <laughs> this time. But I think Mr. Howell for his business? For Which, his service? Yeah, thank you <laughs> he for your thinks, business. He thinks yeah, me for he, my business. I thank him for his service. No, oh, you yes. can thank him for his business goes, of catering to the crazy fashionista. I do love repeat <laughs> customers and someone who understands the value of dressing up one's companions. Of course. Love it. Look how good he looks. Oh, it's wonderful, Thurston. <laughs> It's just like clapping weirdly in the corner. <laughs> Otherwise, um, I return to the inn tavern. Mm -hmm. The horse motif place that we've been staying. With our agreement that we have, do we just not owe for the rooms at this point, or uh, do we? <laughs> Ryan has to play a couple nights a week. Okay, but you've been covering that. Okay, yeah. I have enough money that I could cover it again. I'm like, do I need to do that? No, nope, it's uh, the private room, all of your meals, a yeah. uh, couple free drinks. In the private dining room. Yeah. I'm also th now just thinking, I wonder how much a utility enchantment for a majestically flowing cape that's always just kind of building the breeze or a jaunty hat that sits on the side of your head wouldn't fall off. You know where to go to look. <laughs> but, 
Otherwise, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll stay down in the tavern until it's evening. Then, then we can re- return to the room. Huh? Look out the window. Badgers on the windowsill. See, the importance is to keep an eye on the people down below. Get an idea, <laughs> feel for what's going on. Know your environment. I'd love someone just to be standing behind you going, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Badgers is like... Nodding along. Dr. Mm-hmm. Richter, waiting for security footage. Lots of CCTV cameras at his disposal. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, that's everyone, I think. Because you came back, you came back, <coughs> you're back. Oh! Until and you evening. just start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're awake Until now. Evening. Yeah, Molly, you're awake. Waiting for yeah, people to come and tell me Not what Molly. I'm... Molly, Mary. Molly's... Who's, uh, whose house I'm breaking into. Okay, you uh, wake up for your day, which yeah. is the night shift, as it is were. Is that infuriating for your calendar? No. Okay. Does not matter. Changes nothing. The next day doesn't start until I decide. So you go downstairs into the main uh, tap room, hang out for about an hour, two hours maybe, and uh, Molly shows up, sits down and goes, Rock house. That's rough. Yeah. Found this flower, though. It's like a, a pretty little rose. Well, ain't that just pretty? I thought so. She starts removing the little things and go, goes petals? behind petals? thorns. The, yeah, 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 the thorns. <laughs> I was like, the petals? No, no, no. She <laughs> starts removing the thorns. Pretty. Uh, I see. Do Mo- it. Molly's one of those ladies. Adam's family. <laughs> Recruiting. And she uh, goes behind the bar, grabs a glass, like, it fills it with some water, puts it in, and goes, I'm going to bed. And walks upstairs with her little rose. Well, there you go. I guess I'm uh, more or less done. Yep. For the evening. Well, that was it. Well, go to the bathroom. Well, I worked hard day. I think <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> she goes, okay, mead, beer, whiskey, what are we doing? Uh, we'll just do uh, meads. Because they're cheap. Pulls one and gives it to you. Very specifically, these are, it's because these are the cheapest. And I don't have a sweet tooth. Of course not. He puts your little jar of honey that you need and pushes it over <laughs> to you. It's like, that is a stereotype. And I don't <laughs> that is a stereotype and I don't condone anything about <laughs> it. <laughs> Sugar. Candy. Candy canes, candy corns, and syrup. <laughs> well, there you go. Good, jo- good job, me. <laughs> so the night passes relatively uneventfully for you. Uh, you did get to witness a fight. Nice. Didn't, didn't really take part of it. You just watched it, and it was just two friggin' kids beat up on each other a little bit and then went their separate ways. Wasn't anything other than a good bit of entertainment. And uh, morning comes around, and yeah, uh, innkeeper comes out with the tray and goes, "Here you go." That's for upstairs. Oh, I'm like, what the hell is this? It's way too much food for me. Yeah, it, it's a crap ton of food. On top of that, it's a humongous tray. How much does it weigh? <laughs> Let's see here. There's four, ten of you. So what, like four pounds? Uh, probably about two pounds personally, about 20, 25. And then with like the tea and the glasses, I uh, probably about 35 to 40 pounds, be my bet. Sounds like a Spartacus problem. <laughs> you say a Spartacus walks up and grabs the tray. Thanks, big man. Of course, folks. Yeah, I actually have a negative strength that would actually be not impossible, but actually be difficult for me to carry. I was going to make Spartacus get it by, I just wanted to see if you were even going to try. <laughs> no, <laughs> like especially because it's, it's going to be big and awkward to carry. Yeah. So uh, he goes upstairs with this huge tray. 
Alright. Mm-hmm. Morning meeting. Yep. Any new you, you As you walk in, Spartacus is in there setting uh, the table in the places. And Mary is over there discussing how I could have lifted it, but I'm not gonna. That, that sounds like your job, so I did. He's like, yes, boss. Just like puts a little cake in front of you with your little honey pot. Yeah, <laughs> my food. I'm, I'm just wondering if Spartacus uh, cleans the table before he starts setting stuff out. Do you ask him? No, did I see him do it with his magical ring? Well, you walked in when he was setting stuff out, so oh, okay. no. <laughs> the badger now has a bow tie this morning. <laughs> uh, there's a little bowl of uh, like bacon y meat scraps and stuff like that for the badger. Barkus goes, I requested it. Mm-hmm. Stay away from his food. <laughs> Leave his alone. Yeah. We like him. <laughs> just looks at the badger he bothers like, to think of you? Yeah. No, it's like. <laughs> He's the logistics guy. It's yeah. basically his job. <laughs> it's like. He's like, well, here's a problem. Let's solve it. Okay. Well. All right. So Root problem on. was really my encouragement, but. <laughs> at the morning meeting, uh, Molly comes in, uh, dressed in her zoot suit, and sits down. Right. Any updates uh, to anything from yesterday? Uh, investigated a little bit. Went across the roofs, looked in at the place. There was a bunch of gnomes came out the same time. I picked the wrong one. I'm gonna have to try again tomorrow. Those old motherfuckers went to lunch together. I don't know what Molly's doing. Playing Mary was doing over here, playing in her book. But I went and watched them have lunch. If you, you did not tell me you were getting up to go, I did not see the first batch. Also, if you need, I, I can magically enhance you so you can do things like make those jumps better. Well, I feel like what would make my life a little bit easier. Is if you weren't staring at me while I'm sneaking across <laughs> the roofs. Just kind of turn and look. What, at me? Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, I was trying to follow her to follow him. <laughs> if you but, lose him, don't follow well, her. Well, she picked the wrong house. Just pick somebody else. You, well, you, I did not know that. I, okay, I, I, go she ahead. She was yeah. gone by the time I picked the person I was going to follow. Okay. And she just happened to be there when... I left. Uh, go ahead and uh, pick different targets so you're able to cover more potentials. Okay. I discuss it with you, but you look like you're awfully invested in the book. It's just <laughs> uh, thunder and lightning crashing outside, mm. raining torrential downpour, just yes. as you predicted. I'll go ahead and uh, be taking care of our room and board for today. <laughs> You're like, it's wet. I'm not going out there. <laughs> <laughs> I did uh, check that Priscilla and Elvis have less left the town. No, I've no. left the building. <laughs> they, they, I really thought you were going for it. I was like, I'm like, no, I'm like, no, there's, no, an, yes. there's an opportunity here. Don't waste it. Don't. Oh, he wasted it. <laughs> so. I tried to waste it. I couldn't. I couldn't ignore it completely. <laughs> he hedged. <laughs> so. Good, and so we don't have to worry about them operating in the town anymore. I spent uh, yesterday trying to uh, collect some of Bal- her, some of the Baldry people over to my side. I want the base though before I set up another sermon. Yeah. Abby goes. No, we need money. Yes, we do. I will, so when the weather gets better, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to get donations. Uh, I haven't been here long. What's the legalness of casting magic on people for money, like curing their diseases or blindness or stuff? Or is that covered by the city? For the most part, it's taken care of by churches Mm. and physicers. There's a huge druid contingency in the city, Mm -hmm. so generally most stuff is just 
if it's severe, you call in your local cleric or priest or whoever is nearby. If it's mundane illness, you just find one of the druids and they take care of it. Okay, I did not know if that was a charged for thing that I could sell. Uh, yes and no. Mm. Fixing a broken arm? No. Reducing someone's age? Yes. Mm. I could cure diseases or blindness or deafness, but basically the lesser restoration or, you know, big healing spell. Yeah, there's a lot of people who can. Yeah. So, it's a crowded market, not much, you know, money in it. Yeah. You can pick up mugging. That's casting spells on people for money. <laughs> This well, is Jake's Jake's suggestion. <laughs> either that or uh, hey kids, I don't think you have the aptitude for it yet. You say if uh, we were able to find somebody to fence goods, if you want to, if you think you got any skill in breaking in and taking stuff, that's worth anything. Spark just goes. I've got a fence. Again, not sure she has the aptitude for it. Yeah. I don't know. She might be able to do oh, it. And birds don't ability. To fly by staring in the nest. Yeah. Enhance ability, turn into beast form, break in, steal whatever necklace or something. You could probably make pretty good money if you could fill swans. You know, I know a building that has been recently vacated and may or may not have things left behind within it. That's true. And whatever was left is by people that have gone away. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to look into that, might be a good starting point. Yeah. Scour the building, see if it's got anything worth uh, selling off. Okay, so is that what you guys want me to do for the day? Is go look at places just to rob that people probably aren't in? Well, there's the former Church of Baldry is what I was referring to. Oh. Wouldn't that be enchanted? There's probably some minor enchantments on it, but... I'd imagine. Why wouldn't I go to somebody's house that's not enchanted and just take some of their stuff? Never mind. <laughs> Plenty of aptitude. You do you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I know a shop you should avoid. <laughs> I express the whatever it's Smith's one. business. It's got one too many locks. Yeah. And literally one too many. Yeah. <laughs> they literally bolt the safe down. Well, we don't know that. Yeah. Everyone who knows that is dead. Yeah. I mean, the the Smith guy is still alive. He oh, yeah, yeah okay, I meant your group. <laughs> yeah, they didn't just go and murder all the victims of your robbery. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, it's kind of a dick move, but it's their last request, and we got to. <laughs> <laughs> Kill that blacksmith. <laughs> that guy specifically. This is all his fault. Can I <laughs> So whatever, um, Jake, I'd like one last... Doesn't he man get his... His last meal of choice. I would like to eat that blacksmith. <laughs> you not entertain cannibalistic requests. I'm a lizard. He's not. He's not no. Not, no sentient beings. Pick something not that. I wonder in this level, I guess because they're too poor, if there's a life insurance thing that is literally you pay so much in and someone actually casts res on you. I mean, you could certainly look into it. Hmm. Yeah, you could probably set up a bank account that had uh, some kind of contingency like that. You I was it. thinking as far as this morning's meeting, everyone still has tasks from yesterday that they can... Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's like, it's like everybody's uh, pretty well set. Yeah, I, I asked Molly if she wants me to go with her again or if I should just go look for... Random places to rob. <laughs> oh, you go find random places to oh. rob. And did uh, you manage to even find out the name of who were? Yes. <laughs> it is 
Not Hark Swallow. Uh, <laughs> Hark Swallow. Uh, Caterwaller. Caterwaller Morganson. Morris? Morris. Yeah, Morris. Caterwaller Morris. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we at least have a name. Mm. Catter. Cad. Cadwalder. 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 I think that's how you pronounce it. Mm. It's CAD and then W A L A D E R. It's C A D W A L A D E R. Cadwalder. Cadwalder. Right. Might just Your guess is as good as mine. Caterwall. <laughs> I mean, you can call him whatever you want. Mm-hmm. You can call him Jim. I don't give a shit. That's not his name, though. I don't know. That's not my name. M- Molly, does uh, that uh, library that uh, you and Richter went and checked out, would, would that have. Uh, any sort of uh, like house registry for things in the area that we could locate his uh, residence? Perhaps. Per- <clears throat> Excuse me. Perhaps, but I don't know if he lives in this uh, particular area. The last one didn't. Okay. Yeah, he might be out of zone. Didn't you guys say you had an in with his secretary? Couldn't we just ask her? Yeah. Well, I need to talk to her anyway. Yeah. I have a lunch thing. Bring her some food. <laughs> okay. okay. She okay. literally works too far from the food I wanted to bring her. <laughs> <laughs> so, as the thunderstorm keeps raging on outside. And you guys figure out what you're doing for this lovely Thursday. We will, uh... Today's Friday. I thought we started on Wednesday. Yeah, it was Wednesday yeah, night. It was Wednesday And when okay. we did off Thursday, now we're Friday morning. Okay, then on this wonderful Friday, then we will uh, pick up here next time.